dear, we're never going to be ready. I just know it. Oh dear, what? So many things can happen. What if, what if? Oh, there you are, Panky. I was just wondering. Uh, oh my, is there some trouble? Oh, the party is tomorrow already, and, and I just don't feel ready. Uh, I just don't know if it, everything is going to work out right at all. Now, now, don't worry, dear. I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, well, now let me see. I've set up a, a schedule for begging so everyone gets a fair turn. And Sam and, and Patches have volunteered to keep the trash cans raided so that we'll have food for tomorrow evening. And George and Ink are the best at distracting everyone, uh, doing tricks and acting cute and all that so that the nurses won't notice how much we're getting. Uh, but we just need uh, someone else, someone to really get their attention. Uh, maybe a singer. Oh, I can see that we've chosen the right pet to organize us. You're very good at this, Peggy. And I'm sure God will provide the right pet with the right talent, uh, just like he did when the church was new. Um, what do you mean, Snowflake? Well, as you know, after the church began on the day of Pentecost, there were many Jews who were sure that the church was teaching heresy. Um, what is heresy? Um, well, that's beliefs which are wrong and undermine the true teachings of God. Oh, but the church was teaching the truth, uh, that God's Son, Jesus, had come to earth and taught his people and died for their sins, and then he arose and went to heaven, commanding us to tell everyone about him. Yes, but many of the Jews misunderstood what Jesus came to do, and they refused to accept him as their Savior. Uh, they were persecuting the believers and even killed some of them. Oh, my! Oh, oh, I know what that word persecution is. It means being mean to others because they look different or hold different beliefs than you. Right. So, if the new church was to survive and grow, God needed someone who was well-educated in the scriptures. That's his book, you know and would be determined to preach about Jesus and to show God's love to everyone, no matter what. Whoa, that sounds hard. Uh, who did God choose for that job? A man named Saul. Saul? Well, wasn't he one of the ones who was persecuting the believers? He sure was, and he was also a perfect man for the job. That God needed done. So even though he had already gone to heaven, Jesus confronted Saul on the Damascus road because Saul was going to Damascus to arrest Christians. Yep. Saul was blinded by this bright light and Jesus spoke to him saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Saul asked, who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Is it hard for you to kick against the goads? Um, those goads are sharp sticks that they use to move cattle along, you know. And Saul asked, well, what, uh, what do you want me to do, Lord? And Jesus told him to go to the city and wait, and he would be told there what to do. Amazing! Saul's companions took him to Damascus, where, after three days of fasting and prayer, God sent a believer named Ananias uh, to heal Saul and to preach to him. Paul believed and was baptized. And Saul became Paul, the most effective and famous missionary in the early church. And he even wrote, with the Holy Spirit's guidance, several books of the New Testament. Who would have thought? True. Well, I better get back to Miss Priscilla's room. It's time for afternoon snacks and snuggles. Bye! See you later, Snowflake, and thank you for the encouragement. Now, let's see here. Who do you suppose... Hey, what's that noise? When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the beauty of his resurrection share. When... The saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, 
And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Why, Kung Fu, that was beautiful. Uh, I enjoy singing a little tune now and then, but I can't say that I'm all that good at it. Well, I can, and I've got a job just for you. Come with me. Who would have thought? Matilda, did you see all the food that the cook is making in that kitchen for tomorrow? It's going to be a huge feast. Yeah. Hey, Melvin, maybe we can get that dog and cat who will be uh, raiding the trash cans into trouble and get some extra foods for ourselves. Matilda, you think more like me every day. Come on, we'll go look over the area and make a plan. Let's